In Super Mario Odyssey, Mario has more movement range than ever before, and thanks to Cappy, you can make some truly amazing jumps to reach distant platforms. There's a trick to getting where you want to go to reach otherwise impossible destinations. Here's how to jump the farthest distances in Mario Odyssey. There are many ways to initiate a jump, depending on where you're trying to get to. Long jumps cover a lot of horizontal space, while backwards or side somersaults give you a lot of vertical air, and triple jumps are a good in between. However, when you find that it's not quite enough, try this trick. At the height or end of your jump, throw out Cappy and hold down the Y button. It's crucial you'll hold down Y because you need him to stay in place as long as possible. Then immediately press the trigger button that will cause Mario to stop in midair and flip to perform a ground pound. However, right as he flips, let go of Y and tap and hold it again fast, and Mario will go from a ground pound into a forward dive. As long as you are quick to hold down Y again, Cappy will remain in position for Mario to bounce off of him and resetting him from his diving position. Since Mario is no longer diving, you can then throw out Cappy again if you need to change direction, throwing Cappy will allow you to pivot by holding the control stick in whatever direction you need to face. You can repeat the process of turning a ground pound into a dive to gain additional forward momentum, but note that Cappy can't be bounced off more than once, otherwise you could just fly around in the sky forever. This may take a lot of practice, but there are many different ways you can combine the Cappy dive jump to reach new areas, find shortcuts, and more. Once you get the hang of it, you'll soon be able to reach amazing places that will sometimes reward you for your technique. For more on Super Mario Odyssey, be sure to check out our wiki guide, and for everything else, stick with IGN.